In the sight lighting industry, choosing cast in place light pole bases is typical. But is cast in place the best use of an electrical contractor's time? I'm Brandon Tully, I'm the president of Lido Electric. Uh, Lido has been in business since 1947 and uh, we currently have about 90 employees. So in an effort to be more efficient, you know, we decided to try pole base and we're glad we did. With cast in place, there are a lot of steps. First, order and stage materials from multiple vendors. When everything is coordinated, auger or excavate the hole. Cut the cardboard tube to length, then insert and level it. Next, prep and place the rebar cage and conduit according to the spec. Now, wait for the concrete mixer to arrive and pour. Set the bolt projection, then finish off the base. Next, wait several days before you can return to the site to remove the cardboard tube. Then, wait for the concrete to cure before returning to the site to mount the pole. This ensures that the base has enough strength to handle the weight and wind loading of the pole. Depending on site conditions and the spec, this could take multiple days after the initial pour. So when you add it all up, a cast-in-place project takes two to three trips to the site. For this project, the cast-in-place base took two to three guys, about eight man hours, and then we've got to wait seven days before we can set that pole. Pole base not only saves time and safety risk, but it also mitigates errors. You know, every hour we save is an hour that we are spending doing other tasks that are getting our project done, which makes our customer happy and it makes us more profitable. With Precast, kick off a project by placing an order with just one vendor, the local pole base manufacturer. The bases are built to spec to meet the project's needs in a controlled environment, ensuring a great looking, high quality base is delivered to site. The rebar cages and conduit are included in each base according to the spec so a complete base shows up on site ready to be installed immediately with minimal staging space required. The second step is to install the unit. In one day, a crew can auger the hole, prep the leveling pad, place the base, set the conduit, and backfill. There's no waiting for good weather and no concrete finishing work. The last step is to mount the pole. The bases are already cured, so the light poles can be mounted the same day the pole base unit is installed. So the precast option for this project took just two to three man hours, where the cast in place option was about eight man hours. With precast, we can do everything in one day, but you can't quantify a mistake that didn't happen. Bad bolt patterns, the bolt pattern oriented the wrong way, and that's the thing, you know, with precast, you don't have those mistakes. You don't have to go back, you don't have to rub them out, you don't have to, um, you know, coat the base because it, it's all it's all one time and it's done. So when we do the math, switching to precast just makes sense. How much time could you save by switching to pole base?